Hi, yeah, this is lesson three for the updated 2024 uh, Secrets and Savings Pact. So now we're working, moving on to geometric. So do you remember saying last lesson that arithmetic, people might call it an AP, but we try not to use the word progression or example doesn't. So you might hear some people calling this, uh, especially me to be fair, because I've been so long, uh, a GP. But we're going geometric. So geometric, you multiply the same factor. So A is your first term again. So for these three examples, it's quite simple. So R is the common ratio, it's what you multiply by. And the easiest way to work it out, if it's not obvious, is to do a term divided by the term before it. So maybe 6 over 2. So we know R is 3 or minus 10 over 5, so we know r is minus 2, or 18 over 36, so we know r is a half. So that's the easiest way to do it, to do one term divided by the one before it. Um, there. So it talks about here, geometric sequence, first term is a, common ratio, what you multiply it by is R. So same idea as what we did with the first example from the arithmetic is to generate the first three terms. There. So if I put N is 1 in it, it's 5 times by 2 to the power of 1. If I put N is 2 in, it's 5 times by 2 squared. Just to be on the safe side, because I don't know if that's an, an AP where I'm adding 10 or a GP where I'm multiplying by 2, I'll just do it again. So it tells me really clearly that I'm multiplying by 2 for that first example. My first term is 10. And I multiply by 2. Now this one's recursive, so it uses the, the one before to generate the, the other one. So I know that u1 is minus 3, so a is minus 3. So my u2 is 4 lots of u1, which is minus 12. And then u3 is 4 lots of... Um, Oops, where am I? 4 lots of u2, which is minus 12, gives me plus 48. And hopefully you can see that the a is minus 3, uh, and then r, have I got that right? It's minus, isn't it, there, let's see, for your donkey. Minus 48. There. I was thinking in my head that it might change sign. So A is minus 3 and R is, there we go, cool. Right, let's look at this next one then, we'll keep an eye on the clock. <clears throat> Example 2 says the first three terms are geometric. So I know that if I multiply by R, I get to that next term, and if I multiply by R, I get to that next term. So do you remember me saying that if I do one term divided by the one before it. So 2k plus 3 divided by k plus 2. And then the same for the other one, the third term, 4k minus 2. If I divide it by the second term, so that's what I would have multiplied by, we should find the r. Well, the r's are the same. So I've got 2k plus 3 over k plus 2. I should get rid of oh, it. Is 4k minus 2 over 2k plus 2. So if I just do a bit of cross multiplying and expand the brackets, so I've got, so I've got 2k plus 3, 2k plus 3. 
four, carry over nine, that's the three. Okay, that's the three. Expand the brackets, I've got four, k squared, plus what's that going to be? That's going to be 12k plus nine, four k squared, what's that going to be? It's going to be eight k, take two, is that going to be eight k, take two k? So plus, oops, plus six k, and then minus four. The 4k squareds disappear. The 6k, if it goes over there, so the 4k squareds go, so that's going to leave me 6k is minus 13, is that right? Yeah, so k is minus 13 over 6. There we go, that's what the, well, that's not the r value, is it? It's the k value that works. It doesn't ask for the r value, be careful what the question says. It just wants the constant k, so we could then sub the k back into, into uh, either of them two equations to work out what that is. But we'll stick to what we want, which is just the k value. Right, so the first term is a. If I multiply by r, the next term is ar. If I multiply again, ar squared. If I multiply again by r, ar cubed. Once again, there's that link with the, with the number to its position. So it's one less than its position, so it's ar to the power of minus one. So first term is a, common ratio is r, term is un, and then I've got some okay. Right then, so if I just transfer that down to there. So you have to remember that, just like with the arithmetic. Now there's a couple, there's actually three sum formulas. Um, Two kind of on the formula sheet and one you can make up. So I've got a, 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. So that's the one on the formula sheet. Now you imagine if r was 1 and a half, it would give you a negative on the bottom. Now that might cause you a bit of issues if you were rearranging and doing algebra. If you're just sticking it in your calculator, it doesn't really matter. But what you can do, if you multiply top and bottom by minus 1, so essentially swap your 1s and your r's around, then that's fine. And it actually says it here, doesn't it? So just mention it there. So all I've done is multiply top and bottom by minus 1. So if r was like bigger than 1, it gives me a positive on the bottom. Really useful if you're doing algebra, so you don't get yourself stuck up with it. Right, so look at this example. So it says I've got a sequence there, so I can tell that we're multiplying by 2. So a is 3, r is 2. It wants the 10th term, so it wants us to find u10. So un is a r to the n minus 1. Can you see that? So u10 is 3 times by 2 to the power 9. If you see that in your calculator, your calculator says 1536. Or could be to that as a number. Next one says the nth term, so this is like an algebra bit to it. So u n is 3 times by 2 to the power n minus 1. Now I'm going to split my, um, my, my indices up. So if I use my indices, laws, it's 3 times by 2 to the n times by 2 to the power minus 1. You know 2 to the power minus 1 is a half. So it's 3 over 2 times by 2 to the power n. There you go. What do you think of that? The completed pack actually stopped at the top line, but it's quite nice to do the algebra. Uh, right, let's have a look at these now. So the sum of the first 12 terms now. So the sum of the first 12 terms. Now r is 2, so r is bigger than 1. I want it positive on the bottom, so I'm going to use the formula that is r minus 1. So r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1. That way it just keeps it positive on the bottom. I mean, you just stick it in a calculator, like I said, so there's no real major issue with it at the moment.